Right now, fact-checking the former president. Trump claims having the RNC in Milwaukee was his idea. Hear what the city's mayor has to say. It's still really humid out there, but at least we're tracking some sunshine. Won't necessarily be the case for long. We have storms that return to the forecast. We'll time those out coming up. And later, commemorating Juneteenth, how the holiday is being celebrated today, locally and nationally. Good morning, everyone. Thanks for tuning in to News 3 Now This Morning. I'm Chris Stanford. And I'm Shane Hogan. Thanks for waking up with us. Well, the weather may be turning for the better with the things cooling down a little bit, right. but we do have some rain to keep an eye on. Yeah, Savannah has given us a head outs up on this uh, for a few days now, and she is here to let us know what we can expect today. Hey, Savannah. Hey, guys, thank you. Rain Wednesday through Saturday. There's at least a scattered chance of storms and showers. All of those days, some of those could actually be stronger. Not anticipating a great chance of severe weather, though, at least here locally across southern Wisconsin. But it's definitely hot and humid still. 76 in Madison. Dew points did come down some overnight compared to how high they were the last couple of days. But that's not going to be the trend we see. We're still tracking at least 65 degree dew points from here on out at least through Saturday afternoon and evening then less humidity overall across southern Wisconsin. Some storms and showers are tracking in kind of around Platteville and then also just south of La Crosse. So eventually these are going to continue to move in here. Not anticipating a lot as far as what we could see with severe weather, but some gusty winds and then also some pockets of heavier showers. Those are going to be the two main concerns out of any storms that we see going forward today, tomorrow, Friday and Saturday. This will affect the overnight hours too, so more storms will track in. Definitely an active pattern. A little bit better today as far as temperatures go this afternoon. We're not tracking the 90s, but it is still going to be a little bit above average. That sticks around for the next couple of days before we see further improvement out there. It's also going to be pretty humid out there today, tomorrow, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, though. Definitely going to be the better of the two weekend days. We'll have those details on why that'll be the case and also ahead of your work, a uh, sneak peek of your work week next week coming up a little later. All right, sounds good. Savannah, talk to you then. Happening today, Madison will mark a major milestone for the community. That's right. Later this morning, the official groundbreaking of the Center for Black Excellence and Culture will be taking place. The three-story, 37,000-square-foot building has been years in the making. Every year, the center will support thousands of students learning about black history. The building will have multi-purpose theaters, a co-working area, and a recording studio, as well as an art production space and areas for both young people and seniors. The ceremonial groundbreaking again at 11 o'clock this morning at the future home of the center that's on West Badger Road. Attendees can expect to hear remarks from the project supporters, followed by a celebration of black excellence with art displays, live music and food trucks. Sounds like a good time. The center is looking to open in the fall of 2025. All right, to campaign 2024 coverage now. Another presidential campaign visit to the state is in the books. Former President Donald Trump was in Racine yesterday for his third visit to the state this year. It was the first time, though, visiting since becoming a convicted felon. Our Will Keneally has more on the message the former president brought to his supporters. Trump's comments here in Racine come less than a month before the Republican National Convention in Milwaukee and less than a week after his reported comments criticizing the city that will see him nominated. I love Milwaukee. I was the one that picked Milwaukee, I have to tell you. Those comments come after reports Trump called Milwaukee a horrible city behind closed doors. I was in the room. The president did not disparage the city of Milwaukee. I don't think he said what was attributed to him, but it was a conversation about the challenges we face in some of our nation's largest cities, including the city of Milwaukee. These lying people that they say, oh, he doesn't like Milwaukee. I love Milwaukee. I said, you got to fix the crime. We all know that. That kicked off a 90-minute speech here in Racine that focused significantly on immigration. You know, at the top of people's list would be what's going on at the border and the way that it's been handled, um, or mishandled, I should say. We're going to have a lot of problems, and we're going to get them out. We're going to get them out as fast as we can. We're going to have the largest deportation. We have no choice. Trump also used immigration to talk about the economy, which Republicans think can be a winning issue for them. I will also stop inflation by stopping the invasion, rapidly reducing housing costs. Now, again, we're heading into a busy political summer here. Republicans from across the country will meet in Milwaukee for that nominating convention in July. Reporting from Racine, Will Keneally, News 3 Now. 
Well, as you heard in Will's coverage there, Trump said he was responsible for choosing Milwaukee as the location for the Republican National Convention. But Milwaukee's Mayor Cavalier Johnson says that's not the case. Right before I was initially elected mayor, I took time off the campaign trail to go to Washington, D.C., to go to the RNC headquarters, to do the final pitch to bring the RNC here. And it was the RNC that selected Milwaukee. I think I would, would remember if Donald Trump had anything to do with that. He was nowhere to be found. That is a complete fabrication. I am stunned by that. While Trump was in Racine, a journalist in Milwaukee asked Trump about a report that he would be staying in Chicago after the RNC. Here's what the former president had to say. Well, they have uh, probably, they think, because they have a hotel there, have a beautiful hotel there, beauty, as good as it gets. But I'm staying here. I was always planning on staying here. We do have a statement from the Biden campaign in Wisconsin in response to those reports that Trump had initially planned overnight in Chicago. That statement reads, of course Donald Trump doesn't want to stay in Milwaukee. He thinks it's a horrible city. We don't want him here either. Wisconsinites rejected him four years ago, and we will again in November. In the meantime, a bill that would ban bump stocks will not move forward. Senate Republicans blocked an attempt from Democrats to pass the bill. It comes after the Supreme Court struck down the Trump-era federal ban. Bump stocks allow shooters to convert semi-automatic rifles into weapons that can fire at much faster rates. The bill did have some bipartisan support, but not enough Republicans were willing to back it, calling the legislation and overreach. Back in Wisconsin, within the next two days, UW Lacrosse will decide whether ousted Chancellor Joe Gao can keep his tenured faculty role. UW removed Gao from leadership in December after discovering he was appearing in online pornography with his wife. Gao has been on administrative leave since. If the UWL Senate board decides Gao should be fired, their recommendation will go to the interim chancellor. Wisconsin will get more than $15 million from a nationwide agreement against Johnson & Johnson. Attorney General Josh Call says the company misled people in ads when it came to the safety of its talc powder products. There are thousands of claims against the company alleging the talc caused cancer and other health problems. As part of the agreement, Johnson & Johnson has agreed to stop selling the products in the U.S. Time is 6.06. .06. Madison police are investigating after a robbery on the city's southwest side yesterday. This happened on Reitz Road near the Home Depot here. Police say the suspect assaulted the victim and took the keys to a state-owned car. It's a 2020 white Dodge Caravan with uh, red Wisconsin state-owned license plates, 13810. If you see this model car with those plates, you should not approach, police say, and instead call 911. We all remember this scene from last year when the pier at Memorial Union collapsed while dozens of people were on it. Well, today there is a sturdier dock in place and more safety measures. UW says the new pier is sturdier and can hold up to 65 people. Now there is a gate up that can also keep people off of the pier when lifeguards are not present. The River Food Pantry is closed today for Juneteenth, but the pantry has steps in place to make sure people can still get food today. A staff member will be on hand stocking shelf-stable foods in the Food Now lockers. Those are normally just used on the weekends. And all you have to do is scan the QR code and fill out a short online form to get a locker combination. You don't have to be a client of the River Food Pantry to use those lockers. Thermo Fisher's Middleton Lab is expanding. It's also going to bring hundreds of new jobs to the area. The new 72,000-square-foot building reflects a $58 million investment. Governor Tony Evers' administration is supporting the project by authorizing more than $2 million in tax credits through 2026. The actual amount of tax credits that the company will receive will depend on the number of jobs it creates in that time frame. Looking ahead, next Thursday, the Rock County Historical Society will recognize three people who have made a difference in their community. Greg Hughes and Tom and Amanda Fong will all receive honors at the third annual Rock County Legacies Gala. The Fongs own the Cozy Inn in Janesville, which is the second oldest Chinese restaurant in the U.S. Hughes grew up in Janesville and now works for NBC Sports in New York. The event, which is also a fundraiser for the Historical Society, will take place on the RCHS campus. Time is 6.09. Coming up, a Badger may be coming back after dominating the court overseas. Sam Decker trying to get back in the NBA will let you know the teams this worked out for and dew points are on the higher side of things yet again this morning. We'll talk about when we'll see a break eventually in the humidity. That's all coming up a little later.
And today is Juneteenth, a holiday and day off for some of you watching this morning. I'll have three things happening to honor the day in the 608. You're watching News 3 Now This Morning, brought to you by Toyota. Dear unbreakable spirit, when the terrain is gnarly, you steady us. When obstacles are ahead, you lift us. When the turf is hostile, you inspire us. Own a legend. Toyota Trucks. Right now, lease a new Tacoma for $369 a month or get 2.99% APR for 60 months on a new Tundra. Find yours at Toyota.com. Toyota. Let's go places. Save on your automotive needs with an 11% rebate at Menards. Quaker State High Mileage Motor Oil is engineered to give more power, more wear protection, and longer engine life. Get a five-quart jug for $16.99 after rebate. Turtle Wax Max Power Car Wash provides maximum strength cleaning. The more wash you use, the stronger the cleaning power becomes. A 100-ounce jug is $5.49 after 11% rebate. Save big money at Menards. Looking to buy or sell? Call Tommy Vaness Realty, First Weber's number one team, dedicated to making your real estate dreams a reality. At Tommy Vaness Realty, we understand that buying or selling a home is more than just a transaction. It's about finding the perfect match for your lifestyle. Trust Tommy Vaness Realty for all of your real estate needs. Why settle for less? Call Tommy Vaness. Certain this is gonna work? Nothing to it. For imprint certain? Certainty matters. For imprint is your home for promo gear to wow clients and inspire your team. Check out forimprint.com. For imprint for certain. Announcing Madison Magazine's Best of Madison Readers Poll for 2024. Vote for the Best of Madison online today, including Floors for Less for Best Flooring. Vote for Floors for Less and all your favorites on madisonmagazine.com. Are you ready to make junk disappear? I am so looking forward to this. We make junk disappear. All you have to do is point. <laughs> Call 1-800-GOT-JUNK or visit 1-800-GOT-JUNK.COM. We'll be there before you hang up the phone. Right now at hy V, get Tide laundry detergent for just $9.97 with the digital coupon. That's right, get Tide for just $9.97. Plus, get a 10-cent fuel saver. Digital coupons help you tackle your laundry for less and pack your pantry with more. Just clip to load coupons to your hy V Perks card. You'll find more than 100 digital coupons every week. Like this Tide coupon for $3, making Tide just $9.97. Save with digital coupons when you shop in-store or online at hy V. You're watching News 3 Now This Morning, moving forward. We are back. Today is Juneteenth. The holiday is a celebration of June 19th, 1865, when the last enslaved people in the U.S. learned they were free. That was two years after the Emancipation Proclamation. Juneteenth officially became a federal holiday in 2021. In an honor of the day, we're taking a look at how you can celebrate the National Park Service waiving entry fees at all parks. It marks the first year that people can go to the parks for free on the holiday. Fees are still going to be in effect, though, for things like parking and camping. All right, let's get to some local events now because our Josh Brider is here with what's happening in the 608 for Juneteenth this year. Hey, Josh. Hey, good morning, guys. I have three things to do today in honor of Juneteenth in the 608. The first has become quite a big event over the years. Madison's Juneteenth celebration is back at Penn Park this afternoon. This is video from last year's event. Today marks 35 years for this specific celebration dating back to 1990. The number of attendees and the budget have grown since black community leaders first organized it in 1990. The event showcases community organizations, performances, and food that is all locally sourced. Madison's Juneteenth celebration is from noon to 6 p.m. at Penn Park. 
This Juneteenth, you can also join the Beer Garden at Oberg Park and Delta Beer Lab to support color in the outdoors. This is happening this afternoon at 4. They advocate for equitable access and celebrate diversity and color in and outdoor spaces. A portion of the proceeds from the day, and specifically the Black is Beautiful Beer from Delta, will go toward color in the outdoors and collect any additional donations at the counter via their registry. Finally, happening tonight, Sun Prairie is hosting their 2024 Juneteenth celebration. This is going on from 4 to 8 at Wetmore Park. The event will feature Juneteenth education activities, speakers, performers, and resource fair, all along with family activities, including some athletic events. That's from 4 to 8. Remember, we are your home for what's happening in the 608. You can go to channel3000.com slash in the 608 or click on that community calendar in partnership with our friends over at Madison Magazine. Seems like, oh, well, we lost you, Josh. Want to come on in there? There he oh, is. There we go. Uh, seems like there's something for everyone today, whether you want to have a drink about it or maybe go learn a little bit, something for Everyone. Well, and it's nice too, you know, for those of you that have the day off, you'll be able to go to some of those earlier events. Yeah, but there you tonight, go. if you have to work like us, then you yeah. can go to those later afternoon events too. And it's a great day to, you know, be able to get out and learn a little bit about Absolutely. the history and the importance behind it. No doubt. All right. Thanks for letting us know about you it. You bet. Some of those are going to depend on the weather. Oh, by the way, I remember to send Josh some ideas uh, for In the 608. He's always looking for some inspiring stories to share with you folks. All right, now let's get to Savannah and the weather for some of those Juneteenth uh, events happening today. Uh, what are people going to have to deal with out there? Yeah, they're definitely going to have to deal with the humidity and then off and on storm chances. We'll time those out. But first, the dew points, they actually did dip around the mid 60s, so it's not quite as humid as yesterday and Monday, but still tracking a humid day ahead and really stretch the next couple of days before humidity levels finally come down. That'll be the case Saturday overnight into Sunday. So if you're looking for days to be outdoors, I would say Sunday and Monday, second half of this upcoming weekend, definitely going to be better. But then as we work towards the early portions of next week, looking less humid, much better overall with minimal rain chances. 76 in Madison, 77 in McFarland, 73 in Middleton. So temperatures once again did not fall for the most part across southern Wisconsin below those lower to mid couple areas even in the upper 70s still. 75 in Janesville, 72 in Juneau, 71 in Wisconsin Dells. It's also very breezy out there. Winds pretty much ranging between 25 up to 35 miles per hour. A few areas lower than that threshold. We're at 24 miles per hour. These are all peak wind gusts since midnight. 30 miles per hour in Lone Rock and 24 miles per hour in Camp Douglas. So we will see these conditions continue through the day. It stays breezy today, tonight and into tomorrow. So we really keep that humidity, rain chances around and windy conditions. The better thing about today, it's going to be a little cooler out there, so not quite as warm, not forecasting the 90s. Showers are all west of Madison right now, eventually moving in by about mid morning. We could see a break around lunchtime, but another transition and track of storms and showers will move in for the second half of the day. So by mid to late afternoon into the early evening, some of these storms could be on the stronger side. Overall, there's a low risk of severe weather across southern Wisconsin, but can't rule out a couple of stronger storms with peak heating of the day later this afternoon and then into the evening. This radar image is about 5 p.m., 5, 5.30 p.m. as we head into the evening. Another round of storms and showers, though, as we head into the overnight hours. So we're hanging on to this active pattern, and it will affect some portions of the overnight hours the next several days. Wednesday through Saturday, your best chances of scattered storms. Sunday will be the better of the day, like I mentioned, out of the weekend. 80 degrees, so also much more comfortable out there. Not a great rain chance except for the morning and then Monday, probably going to be the best day or one of the better days out of your work week, 81. So good start of next week. The baseball world mourns the loss of one of, if not the best to ever play the game, but also one of the greatest people. Willie Mays died last night at the age of 93. The electrifying Say Hey Kid, as he was known, wowed fans with his play, but most importantly, at least to him, made sure he did it all while putting a smile on fans' faces. A true five-tool player, he hit 660 home runs, stole 339 bases, was a 24-time All-Star, and made what is widely considered to be the best catch in baseball history known as the catch. You see it right there. Mays' son, Michael, said in a statement, I want to thank you all from the bottom of my broken heart for the unwavering love you've shown him over the years. You have been his life's blood. The sports giant was the oldest living baseball Hall of Famer.
It's difficult right now to even uh, try to explain how much I love baseball and how much baseball means to me. I think we had what you call uh, a love affair. The Florida Panthers with the chance to win their first ever Stanley Cup last night and the chance to do it at home, but the Edmonton Oilers are like a squeaky wheel in this series. They just won't go away. Oilers leading 2-0 early in the second, and look at that sick goal from Connor McDavid. The kid makes it happen, squeezes one past the tender's net, and the Oilers run away with it, winning 5-3, and suddenly we've got ourselves a series. Staying on the ice, the Madison Capitals released their 2024-2025 schedule yesterday. The Caps will open the season at home on September 27th against the Youngstown Phantoms and wrap their season on April 12th against the Green Bay Gamblers. And you can officially mark your calendars. Marquette announced yesterday that the 2024 edition of the I-94 rivalry will be played on Saturday, December 7th. The Badgers will look for their third straight win over Marquette and their second straight at Fiserv. Sam Decker has been dominating overseas for the past few years, but the dream of an NBA return is still alive. The former Badger worked out for the Philadelphia 76ers and the Utah Jazz yesterday. He only he most recently played in an NBA game in 2021, but hasn't really stuck on a roster since 2018. That's your morning sports fix. Have a whimsical Wednesday. Thank you very much, Andrew. Coming up next, a new concert record. Which country singer just drew the biggest crowd in U.S. history? We'll talk about it coming up. The first warm weather team takes you beyond the barometer. Only on News 3 Now. It can bear over 4,000 times its own weight. And that's just the door hinge. Sturdy design down to the smallest detail, the Taos. Visit your Volkswagen dealer today and get 0% APR financing or a $1,500 customer bonus on a new 2024 Taos. Need inspiration? Shop Pick and Save. For over 30,000 mouth-watering choices, plus savings like digital coupons worth over $600 each week and up to $1 off per gallon at the pump. Pick and Save is worth it every time. Pick and Save, fresh for everyone. To everyone making time for life's best moments, let us celebrate with you. In Wisconsin, we love celebrating together. Big days or any other day. <laughs> From hot and juicy to ooey gooey to oh my word. Oh my word. <laughs> <laughs> Serving you a handcrafted meal that makes today. Today. Today a little bit more special. That's what fills us up inside. From Wisconsin with love. Welcome, Welcome to Delicious. delicious. I'm gonna take real good care of your windows. You need the experts at Feldco. Right now at Feldco, get two windows for the price of one. Call now. Call 866 for Feldco. What have we got? The Andersons. All night, tossing and turning, bad backs, sleep score on an all-time low. Round up the team. At Denver Mattress, going undercover is literally how we solve problems. And when we find sleepers waking up with aches and pains, we turn to the Tempur-Pedic Adapt, designed for ultimate pressure relief that uniquely adapts to your body's pressure points. The Temper Adapt features innovative technology, so you get deep, undisturbed rest all night long. Denver Mattress, the easiest way to get the right Tempur-Pedic. The, the whole process was just so easy. The insulation crew is extremely professional. And efficient. Yes. They were like, there and gone. It's, it's definitely convincing when you see it in front of you of what your savings are gonna be. Create your perfect room for entertaining, relaxing, and more with patio enclosures. Right now, get 25% off your sunroom. Plus, enjoy exceptional financing. Call today. Patio enclosures. Fight the bite and take back your yard. Trust your trained local mosquito squad of South Central Wisconsin to defend against backyard pests. Our pioneered barrier treatment is backed by our 100% satisfaction guarantee. If a mosquito or tick is peskier than the rest, we will apply another treatment. The season's short in Wisconsin. Don't let mosquitoes and ticks make it any shorter. Call your local mosquito squad of South Central Wisconsin for a free quote. In less than 30 minutes, you'll be on your way to being outside all day. Everyone comfortable? Yep. I've even got an extra seat. The Volkswagen Atlas. Everyone wants a ride. And see Despicable Me 4 in theaters July 3rd. Rated PG. Get 2.9% APR financing on a new 2024 Atlas. Welcome back on your Wednesday. Sharing <laughs>
Linda? Linda's morning. Someone's <laughs> keeping an eye on us. Hello there. Very nice, Linda. Thanks, Linda. Hello, you can use, <laughs> use the hashtag. I saw one, I saw a little Bambi on the way in this morning. Me too. Yeah, use the hashtag My News 3 Morning if you want to share your photos with us. All right, so there is a new record for the largest ticketed concert in U.S. Ooh, history. Okay. Now, Savannah, you're a country music fan, right? I like am. country. How about this? Uh, George Strait just performed wow. at Texas A&M. The crowd topped 110,000 people. Wow. Uh, that's a huge number. Broke the all-time attendance record of 107,000 people set a long time ago. Grateful Dead did it mm. at New Jersey's Raceway Park back in 1977. Uh, Savannah, George Strait, uh, thinks 60 number one country hits. I mean, what do you close with if you're George Strait? I know. I mean, uh, don't pick anything. Saying? I don't know any George Strait songs. I'm not though. gonna lie. Not one uh, George Strait know. song. Even <laughs> I know a George Strait song. You know, I'm not going to lie. I feel like that number would be bigger. 110,000 for the biggest concert in this country's history. A uh, ticketed concert. So there's all paid. Right. Uh, right. Concert goers. Which I guess know. is the justification there. Okay. But still. Uh, yeah. Congrats to George Strait, though. I mean, an absolute legend, no doubt about that. Yeah. Even if Savannah doesn't know a song, come on. Don't if, throw me if, under if, the bus. Let's move on. <laughs> if you're uh, if you're playing in Texas, you got to end with "All my exes live in Texas." Uh -huh. That's a good one. All right. Very good. <laughs> Very nice. Well, uh, the school board in LA just banned cell phones while school is in session. It's going to start in January and affect more than half a million students. Uh, I'm sure this, this will go over well. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, this won't upset anybody. No, no, not at all. No, there will be no, no, no discussion. No, no. no, Not at all. But, <laughs> you know, not having, I didn't have a cell phone when I was in high school. Mm -hmm. They weren't around yet. So I don't know, like, this is, uh, I don't know how well this is going to go yeah. over. It was certainly a distraction for me. I could be the first to admit that. Yeah, me too. But, you know, maybe it's, it's a, we'll see. We'll see what happens out there and we'll see if any other uh, major cities. Follows, yeah, yeah follows absolutely. Too. Well, Savannah's got a lot to talk about in the forecast. We're going to break down uh, when we're going to see some relief from the heat and some storm chances right after this. News 3 Now First Warm Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. Let's do this. Introducing Chevy's best lineup of SUVs ever. The rugged, always ready Trailblazer. The first ever Traverse Z71. And the Chevy Trax, starting at 21495 When it's your time to shine, Chevy's got you. Get 1.9% financing on select popular 2024 Chevy SUVs when you finance with GM Financial. Chevrolet, the number one selling brand in Wisconsin. They are some of the hottest videos on social media. Those videos claiming to instantly get rid of bags under your eyes. Annette Figaro is here to tell us why she says this one is for real. This one is for real. And what it does is it tightens and lifts the appearance of bags underneath your eyes. And not only does it work on the bags, it works on the appearance of crow's feet, fine lines, and wrinkles. Try it today for only $14.95. Plus, get free shipping. Visit plexidermtrial.com or call the number on your screen. The Spring Green Art Fair is coming June 29th and 30th to downtown Spring Green. Hundreds of artists from around the nation will be there both days. Don't miss the fun and excitement, June 29th and 30th in Spring Green. You've got this. 10 days, two kids, and the open road. Tourist traps, set. Souvenir allowances, dispersed. Juice boxes, abundant. You've got this. Just like Associated Banks got you with access to over 30,000 surcharge-free ATMs. So when must-see attractions become must-pay-with-cash adventures, we've got you. Mom, why is the front door open? You've got this with Associated Bank. This 4th, we're throwing a 4 for the 4th celebration. Spotlighting 4 power sofas that will charge up your relaxation. 4 best-selling mattresses. 4 bedroom sets worth dreaming about. And 4 trending dining sets. It's my annual 4 for the 4th celebration. Don't burn up your money on high energy bills. Get new energy efficient windows from Champion. Stay cool and save 35% off new Champion windows. Plus get an extra $100 off every window. 
The more you buy, the more you save. Call 888-4CHAMPION or schedule your free in-home estimate online today. Are you ready to make junk disappear? I am so looking forward to this. We make junk disappear. All you have to do is point. <laughs> Call 1-800-GOT-JUNK or visit 1-800-GOT-JUNK.COM. We'll be there before you hang up the phone. Announcing Madison Magazine's Best of Madison Readers Poll for 2024. Vote for the Best of Madison online today, including Beef Butter Barbecue for Best Barbecue, your number one choice for barbecue and catering. Vote online for Beef Butter Barbecue today. Right now, fact-checking the former president. Trump claims having the RNC in Milwaukee was his idea. Hear what the city's mayor has to say. Warm, humid, and we have storm chances on the way. We'll time those out for your Wednesday coming up. And later, commemorating Juneteenth, how the holiday is being celebrated today, locally and nationally. Good morning, everyone. Thanks for tuning in to News 3 Now this morning on a Wednesday. I'm Chris Stanford. And I'm Shane Hogan. Thanks for waking up with us. It's another hot one. I, I'm still hot from yesterday. Retaining all the still <laughs> trying to dry off from all the sweat. But I'll take any relief we can get. Looks like maybe we got some on the way. Yeah, we have that. And some storm chances in the forecast. Meteorologist Van Brito out on the patio. Okay, so is it as muggy out there this morning as it has been the past couple of days? Humidity levels are a little lower, but it's still muggy nonetheless. Maybe a little easier to breathe outside, but not by much, guys. Temperatures also are about the same as what we had yesterday. These will be lower, though, this afternoon, so we're not going to hit the 90s today. Lower 80s are actually in the forecast, so our temperatures are not going to warm a whole lot more compared to what they're sitting at right now. 76 in Madison, so temperatures, again, did not fall below the mid to lower 70s in a lot of areas. Some spots even held strong in the upper 70s. That was a nighttime overnight low. So showers beginning to track in by Viroqua. That's kind of where the heavier showers are right now up by Camp Douglas directly west of Madison. As these move in the next couple of hours, I think they'll be out of here by the time lunchtime moves in, but then we'll track another chance of scattered showers. Some storms could be on the stronger side as we head for the afternoon and evening and then another round overnight. So yes, it's a very active pattern, but overall at least temperatures won't be as hot as what we had yesterday. Stays humid though. Several several storm chances throughout the week, Wednesday through Saturday in that time frame. Those are our best storm chances. And then the second half of the weekend, that's when uh, humidity levels are going to decrease. So guys, I would say if you're making plans for the weekend, Sunday would be the day to go. All right, Savannah, thanks. Happening today, Madison will mark a major milestone for the community. That's right. Later this morning, the official groundbreaking of the Center for Black Excellence and Culture will take place. The three-story, 37,000-square-foot building has been years in the making. The center will support thousands of students learning about black history. The building will have multi-purpose theaters, a co-working area, a recording studio, an art production space, and areas for both young people and seniors. The ceremonial groundbreaking is at 11 o'clock this morning at the future home of the center on West Badger Road. Attendees can expect to hear remarks from the project supporters, followed by a celebration of black excellence with art displays, live music, and food trucks. The center is looking to open in the fall of 2025. To campaign 2024 coverage now, uh, another presidential campaign visit is in the books. Former President Donald Trump was in Racine yesterday for his third visit to the state this year. It was his first, though, since being convicted of a felony. Our Will Keneally has more on the message he brought to his supporters. Trump's comments here in Racine come less than a month before the Republican National Convention in Milwaukee and less than a week after his reported comments criticizing the city that will see him nominated. I love Milwaukee. I was the one that picked Milwaukee, I have to tell you. Those comments come after reports Trump called Milwaukee a horrible city behind closed doors. I was in the room. The president did not disparage the city of Milwaukee. I don't think he said what was attributed to him, but it was a conversation about the challenges we face in some of our nation's largest cities, including the city of Milwaukee. These lying people that they say, oh, he doesn't like Milwaukee. I love Milwaukee. I said, you got to fix the crime. We all know that. That kicked off a 90-minute speech here in Racine that focused significantly on immigration. You know, at the top of people's list would be what's going on at the border and the way that it's been handled, um, or mishandled, I should say. We're going to have a lot of problems, and we're going to get them out. We're going to get them out as fast as we can. We're going to have the largest deportation. We have no choice. 
Trump also used immigration to talk about the economy, which Republicans think can be a winning issue for them. I will also stop inflation by stopping the invasion, rapidly reducing housing costs. Now, again, we're heading into a busy political summer here. Republicans from across the country will meet in Milwaukee for that nominating convention in July. Reporting from Racine, Will Keneally, News 3 Now. Well, you heard in Will's coverage there that Trump said he was responsible for choosing Milwaukee as the location for the Republican National Convention. But Milwaukee's Mayor Cavalier Johnson says that's not the case. Right before I was initially elected mayor, I took time off the campaign trail to go to Washington, D.C., to go to the RNC headquarters, to do the final pitch to bring the RNC here. And it was the RNC that selected Milwaukee. I think I would, would remember if Donald Trump had anything to do with that. He was nowhere to be found. That is a complete fabrication. I am stunned by that. While Trump was in Racine, a journalist in Milwaukee asked him about a report that he would be staying in Chicago after the RNC. Here's what the former president had to say. Well, they have uh, probably, they think because they have a hotel there, have a beautiful hotel there, beauty, as good as it gets. But I'm staying here. I was always planning on staying here. We do have a statement from the Biden campaign in Wisconsin in response to those reports that Trump had initially planned to overnight in Chicago. That reads, quote, of course Donald Trump doesn't want to stay in Milwaukee. He thinks it's a horrible city. We don't want him here either. Wisconsinites rejected him four years ago, and we will again in November. Meantime, a bill that would ban bump stocks will not move forward on Capitol Hill. Senate Republicans blocked an attempt from Democrats to pass the bill. It comes after the Supreme Court struck down a Trump-era federal ban. Bump stocks allow shooters to convert semi-automatic rifles into weapons that can fire at much faster rates. The bill did have some bipartisan support, but not enough Republicans were willing to back it, calling the legislation an overreach. Back here in Wisconsin, within the next two days, UW Lacrosse will decide whether ousted Chancellor Joe Gao can keep his tenured faculty role. UW removed Gao from leadership in December after discovering he was appearing in online pornography with his wife. Gao has been on administrative leave since. If the UWL Senate board decides Gao should be fired, their recommendation will go to the interim chancellor. Wisconsin will get more than $15 million from a nationwide agreement against Johnson & Johnson. Attorney General Josh Call says the company misled people in ads when it came to the safety of its talc baby and body powder products. There are thousands of claims against the company alleging the talc caused cancer and other health problems. As part of the agreement, Johnson & Johnson has stopped selling the products in the U.S. Time is 6.36. Madison police are investigating after a robbery on the city's southwest side yesterday. This happened on Reitz Road near the Home Depot here. The police say the suspect assaulted the victim and took the keys to a state-owned car. It's a 2020 white Dodge Caravan with red Wisconsin state-owned license plates 13810. If you see this model car with those plates, you should not approach it and instead call 911. We all remember this scene from last year when the pier at Memorial Union collapsed. Dozens of people were on it. Today, there is a sturdier dock in place and more safety measures than before. UW says the new pier is sturdier and can now hold up to 65 people. There's also a gate up that will keep people off the pier when lifeguards are not present. The River Food Pantry is closed today for Juneteenth, but the pantry still has steps in place to make sure people can get food today. A staff member will be on hand stocking stable foods in the Foods Now lockers. Those are normally just used on nights and weekends. All you have to do, though, is scan a QR code and fill out a short online form to get a locker combination. And you don't have to be a client of the River Food Pantry to use those lockers. Thermo Fisher's Middleton Lab is expanding. It's going to bring hundreds of new jobs to the area. The new 72,000 square foot building reflects a $58 million investment. Governor Tony Evers' administration supporting the project by authorizing more than $2 million in tax credits. The actual amount of tax credits, though, that the company will receive will depend on the number of jobs it creates. Looking ahead, next Thursday, the Rock County Historical Society will recognize three people who have made a difference in their community. Greg Hughes and Tom and Amanda Fong will all receive honors at the third annual Rock County Legacies Gala. The Fongs own the Cozy Inn in Janesville, the second oldest Chinese restaurant here in the U.S. Hughes grew up in Janesville and now works for NBC Sports in New York. The event, which is also a fundraiser for the Historical Society, will take place on the RCHS campus.
638 here on your Wednesday. Coming up after the break, a look at the life and legacy of baseball legend Willie Mays and how fans are honoring him. It's still very warm and humid outside, both a factor early Wednesday morning. We'll talk about when this improves. Today is Juneteenth, a holiday and day off for some of you watching this morning. I'll have three things happening to honor the day in the 608. They say that breakfast is the most important meal of the day. Well, they are correct. Enjoy one of our tasty steak patty sandwiches paired with a $2 medium iced coffee. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Up to 60% off list at the 4th of July blowout at Slumberland Furniture. Explosive deals everywhere. Like this classic sofa in three colors. Or a chase sofa for just $5.98. Recline and save for just $3.99. Get this incredible deal, head up base and eight inch mattress, just $4.99 for both. Plus our 365 night sleep guarantee. What a sale. The 4th of July blowout at Slumberland Furniture. This famous wood fence from the show Home Improvement had to have boards replaced 13 times in only nine years. Our fences outlast wood three to one and are all backed by our extensive lifetime warranty. This month, save $1,000 on your project. Visit the website or call the number for your new fence today. Shop from the largest selection of Chevy trucks and SUVs in Wisconsin at Bergstrom Chevrolet. All with Bergstrom's negotiation-free upfront pricing, including our exclusive seven-day price protection and money-back guarantees. Stop in or shop and purchase at bergstromchevrolet.com. We believe every baby deserves a healthy start. Yet many parents in our community are struggling to afford the basic necessities. You can help change that. Please donate to the News 3 Now Community Baby Shower. Drop off infant care items at Babies and Beyond, Monday through Friday and Saturday morning. Visit channel3000.com for complete details. News 3 Now Community Baby Shower, sponsored by Viridian Homes and Dave Jones. Announcing Madison Magazine's Best of Madison Reader's Poll for 2024. Vote for the Best of Madison online today, including Level Up Plumbing for Best Plumber. Vote for Level Up Plumbing and all your favorites on madisonmagazine.com. Dad, are you certain this is going to work? Nothing to it. Are you for imprint certain? Certainty matters. Like the certainty of 4imprint, your home for high-quality promotional gear, including exclusive items and brands they love, printed perfectly and guaranteed to arrive on time. To wow your clients, nail your next event, or inspire your team, check out 4imprint.com. 4imprint, for certain. Wisconsin's U.S. Senate race takes center stage in a News 3 Now reality check. I'll drill into the latest campaign ads attacking Tammy Baldwin and challenger Eric Hovde, clarifying the messages and finding the facts. Reality Check, Thursday on News 3 Now at 6. The nation's top call for action team is going strong at News 3 Now with more than 160 cases closed and over $444,000 recovered. If you need help moving forward, call for action only on News 3 Now. Watching News 3 Now this morning, moving forward. We are back. Today is Juneteenth. The holiday is a celebration of June 19th, 1865, when the last enslaved people in the U.S. learned they were free. That was two years after the Emancipation yeah. Proclamation. Juneteenth officially became a federal holiday in 2021. In honor of the day, we're taking a look at how folks can celebrate. The National Park Service waiving entry fees at all parks today. It marks the first year people can go to the national parks for free on the holiday. Fees will still be in effect, though, for things like parking and camping. Well, now let's turn to some local events. Our Josh Spryder is here with what's happening in the 608 for this Juneteenth this year. Josh, good morning. So I have three things to do today in honor of Juneteenth and the 608. The first has become quite a big event over the years. We're talking about Madison's Juneteenth celebration. It's back at Penn Park this afternoon. Here's video from last year's event. Today marks 35 years for this specific celebration dating back to 1990. The number of attendees and the budget have grown since black community leaders first organized it in 1990. The event showcases community organizations, performances and food that is all locally sourced. Madison's Juneteenth celebration is from noon to six at Penn Park. 
This Juneteenth, you can also join the beer garden at Oberg Park and Delta Beer Lab to support color in the outdoors. This is happening this afternoon at 4. They advocate for equitable access and celebrate diversity and color in and out of outdoor spaces. A portion of the proceeds from the day, and specifically the Black is Beautiful beer from Delta, will go towards color in the outdoors, and they'll collect any additional donations at the register. Also happening tonight, Sun Prairie is hosting their 2024 Juneteenth celebration. This is going on from 4 to 8 at Wetmore Park. This event will feature Juneteenth educational activities, speakers, performances, a resource fair, and family activities. Remember, we are your home for what's happening in the 608. You can go to channel3000.com slash in the 608 or click on that community calendar. So something for everyone, depending on what time you're available today. Yeah, lots going on today. Of course, you can get out, maybe... Uh, educate yourself a little bit more on the holiday and enjoy some good food and live music. All sorts of things going on. Yeah, we're going to need the weather to cooperate. Yes, we do. Hopefully we can like get that rain out of here too yeah, and enjoy the rest of the day. Let's hope. All right, Josh, thank you. You bet. Josh is always looking for inspiration to share with you folks in the 608. Uh, hit him up if you have a good idea for TV. All right, let's send it over to meteorologist Savannah Brito now. Hey guys, good morning. It's a windy day, humid and warm, but it's not going to be as hot as what we had yesterday afternoon anyways, despite what our temperatures are already this morning. 24 miles per hour. These are all peak wind gusts since after midnight. 25 in the Dells, 35 miles per hour in Viroqua. So we are seeing gusts up to about 35 miles per hour, roughly ranging 25 to 35. Stays breezy through today, 76 in Madison, 77 in McFarland, 76 in Wanakee. So temperatures yet again this morning did not fall below the 70s across much of the area. Lower to mid 70s is where most of us are still sitting. 75 in Janesville, 73 in Wisconsin Dells. Also noting it's pretty humid out there. Yes, dew points are a little bit lower than what we had Monday and Tuesday, at least in the morning, but we are going to see those rise again. So humid conditions expected at least through Saturday evening. Then you'll see a dip, a major dip in dew points. They'll be near the 60 degree mark only, so it'll feel much more comfortable out there technically not around 50 degrees but you know when dew points become below 60 degrees that's when you have a much more comfortable pattern that's expected for Sunday and Monday so I would say the second half of this upcoming weekend definitely going to be better and overall less humid. We are seeing those showers that were west of Madison, still directly west of the area, but some of those tracking into southern Wisconsin now. Lone Rock, areas north of there, also east of Viroqua, and then east of Fayette. That's where all the heavier showers are located early this morning. So some of those moving in are about to move into portions of Dane County. That'll be the case through about mid-morning to late morning. Then we'll see a break around lunchtime before another round of scattered showers and storms move in. Late afternoon into the early evening. This is about 5 p.m. So no anticipation of widespread severe weather could see a few isolated severe storms. I think stronger storms are going to be what we have to look out for, especially with peak heating of the day the next couple of afternoons. That does include Wednesday, though. Wind gusts and then also some flooding just because of all the rain that we've been seeing and will continue to see. Those are going to be the primary concerns across southern Wisconsin. Another round overnight, though. So we definitely have an active pattern. Another round Thursday morning into the afternoon. We could see probably up to three quarters of an inch. Some areas could see localized heavier amounts, but roughly between a quarter and up to three quarters of an inch. That can be expected at least through this evening. And then we'll tack more on active Wednesday through Saturday before we start to see a calmer pattern move in. I think that could take us through some of next week at least, but nonetheless cooler and a lot less humid as we head for Sunday and Monday. Yeah, Savannah, we can see next week looking a little nicer with all this rain coming up. Is that what's going to knock down some of these temps and humidity? Yes, yeah, so we just will see this heat dome expand eastward and overall our dew points definitely take a major dip. It'll feel a lot better to breathe out there by Sunday. All right, yeah, just got to get to Sunday. Then it looks like a pretty nice week after that. All yes. right, Savannah, thank you. Time is 648. Baseball legend Willie Mays has passed away. Mays, known as the Say Hey Kid, was one of the best ever to play the game. His professional career began in the segregated all-black league when he was in high school. He signed with the New York Giants in 1950. During his career, Mays hit 660 homers, stole 339 bases, was a 24-time All-Star, won 12 gold gloves, I think it is, and what made is one of the, the best 
baseball defensive plays in history known as the catch. I always felt I could catch every ball that came out there. I believed that I could do anything on a ball field. I think most baseball fans would agree with that. In a statement, Mays' son thanked fans for their unwavering love for his father, saying, you have been his life's blood. As tributes pour in for the baseball star, we're taking a look at a cool moment from last night at Wrigley Field. Fans at the Giants-Cubs game honored Mays with a moment of silence. Willie, of course, was a member of the Giants himself. At 93, Mays was the oldest living baseball Hall of Famer. Yeah, he's one of those, you know, real icons of the game, right? Along with Jackie Robinson and Babe Ruth, some of the biggest names ever, but his impact, like Jackie, uh, breaking the color barrier in the game, um, dating all the way back to the uh, 40s and 50s and, uh, you know, in the 60s as well. So uh, what a career for Willie Mays, and um, he will be remembered as truly one of the greats of the yeah. game. This morning I'm remembering that quote from the Sandlot that uh, heroes are remembered, but legends never die. Yeah, that's right. And that is truly uh, Mays. That's a good the, point. The game's great legend. That's right. All right, time is 649. Coming up in the morning sprint, who will be the next Green County Sheriff? And if you got a little kiddo turning three soon, let us know. We'll show their picture on TV. Sponsored by Three Bears Resort, Indoor Water Park and Conference Center in Warrens, Wisconsin. This is Good News Madison, brought to you by Don's Home Furniture. We have something for everybody, whether it be a diehard soccer fan, a young kid, that maybe it's their first game, or just a casual fan. No matter what side of the stadium you're on, you're less than 10 feet uh, from the actual players. So we're really fortunate to have that kind of a, a amazing, intimate experience here at the stadium. Really something for everybody in great affordable family entertainment here at Bree Stevens Field. And that is Good News Madison, brought to you by Don's Home Furniture. Announcing Madison Magazine's Best of Madison Reader's Poll for 2024. Vote for the Best of Madison online today, including Beef Butter Barbecue for Best Barbecue, your number one choice for barbecue and catering. Vote online for Beef Butter Barbecue today. It's going to be another sizzling hot summer. Don't burn up your money on high energy bills. Get new energy efficient windows from Champ. We have saved 25 to 30 percent on our energy bill since installing the windows, which blew my mind. Stay cool and save 35 percent off new Champion windows. Plus, get an extra hundred dollars off every window. The more you buy, the more you save. Save 35 percent off your new Champion windows and hundred dollars off every window you buy. Call 888 champion or schedule your free in-home estimate online today. If there's one thing we like, it's choices. And your Ford dealer is the place to start with a full lineup of vehicles and available powertrains. Get your ideal combination of power and capability with gas, hybrid, or all electric. The more important than the power you choose is what you choose to do with it. Choose FlexBuy on a new Ford Explorer and get 1.9% APR financing for 66 months. Only at your local Wisconsin Ford dealer. Madison's most spectacular night out is Moulin Rouge, the musical. Winner of 10 Tony Awards, including Best Musical. The New York Times calls it dazzling, gasp-inspiring. In Moulin Rouge, life is beautiful. Performances begin July 9th at Overture Center. Tickets at Overture.org. Hi. Deprioritized. <clears throat> but it's a work call. Oh, a work call? Mm -hmm. um, deprioritized. T-Mobile home internet relies on cell phone towers. So when their network gets Not busy, the fridge. Not the fridge. you can be deprioritized. It's too bad. It's a good movie. Yeah. Forget T-Mobile cell phone internet. Get home internet that puts you first. Get Spectrum. We wanted to be able to enjoy all four seasons and patio enclosures helped us make that dream come true. The one and only patio enclosures. Ruber Law Offices. One call, that's all. 6.53, time for the morning sprint. Later this morning, the official groundbreaking of the Center for Black Excellence and Culture will take place. It starts at 11 o'clock on West Badger Road. The building will ultimately have multi-purpose theaters, a co-working area, a recording studio, an art production space, 
and areas for both young people and seniors. The center is looking to open in the fall of 2025. Today, banks and post offices will be closed in observance of Juneteenth. Some major retailers are going to stay open. Also, UPS and FedEx pickup and delivery services will still be available today. Those retailers include uh, Walmart, Costco, and Target. Those are open, as well as Starbucks, McDonald's, and Dunkin'. You might want to check ahead, though, before going to any local chains. Within the next two days, UW Lacrosse will decide whether ousted Chancellor Joe Gao can keep his tenured faculty role. UW removed Gao from leadership in December after discovering he was appearing in online pornography with his wife. Gao has been on administrative leave since. If the UWL Senate board decides Gao should be fired, the recommendation will go to the interim chancellor. Green County is getting a new sheriff. Governor Tony Evers just appointed Coney Canalby to lead the department. Canalby has 16 years of experience with the department. He's been a patrol deputy and chief deputy. Canalby will start his work as sheriff on June 30th. The FDA says applesauce pouches remained on Dollar Tree shelves for nearly two months after they were recalled. The pouches were contaminated with heavy amounts of lead and are linked to hundreds of lead poisonings. Public health officials nationwide continue to report Wanabana apple cinnamon fruit puree pouch sightings to the FDA in the months that followed. Uh, Dollar Tree is disputing the FDA's claim. Madison police investigating an increase in retirement account frauds. Victims receiving a message saying that they made a money transfer connected to illegal activity. They're asked to call a number, then they're asked to drain their account and send the money for investigation of the fraud. If someone messages or calls you like this, check with your bank before doing anything. Baseball legend Willie Mays passed away Tuesday, and 93 years old Mays was the oldest living baseball Hall of Famer. During his career, Mays hit 660 homers, stole 339 bases, and was a 24-time All-Star and made what is widely considered the best defensive play in baseball history. You just saw it, known as the catch. Many knew him as the Say Hey Kid, a nickname picked up his rookie season. At least one person is dead in a wildfire in New Mexico. The New Mexico governor issuing a state of emergency, deploying National Guard troops to the affected areas. A top-level fire management team is expected to take over today. Winds are expected to continue to be a challenge. We are going to have scattered showers that remain in the forecast along with storms Wednesday through Saturday. The better chances are going to remain over the next couple of days. Lower humidity levels by Sunday and a high only of 80. So much better for the second half of this upcoming weekend. Looking forward to the start of next week too. A lot calmer. Yeah, I think we all are. Yeah. <laughs> we'll take it. A little cooler, a little calmer. Sounds good to me, Savannah. Thank you. Thanks for waking up with us, folks. We're back with another news and weather update coming up in 30 minutes.